going on guys welcome back to the channel thank you for stopping by in today's video we're going to be checking out a mobile gaming controller that's compatible with Android in the PC this is by HyperX and it's called the clutch wireless now before we dive into the unboxing I want to just say if you guys like this and want to check it out I'll drop a link in the description below this is around $50 and you can pick it up on Amazon but just taking a look at the package, we see that this comes with a convertible mobile clip and also a built-in rechargeable battery, and it is Bluetooth. So you won't be charging your phone while playing games or anything like that. This is gonna be over a Bluetooth connection. But honestly, how many $50 wireless mobile gaming controllers can also be played from the PC? You guys let me know. But it seems like a decent deal so far. So. Let's just take a look at the back and as you see here's that mobile clip where you can detach it from the controller and then put the mobile clip on the table or a flat surface and then put your phone in there and then you can play your games that way or you can have it attached and use the controller this way as the picture describes and play your games with the mobile clip attached to the controller either way I think you guys are a winner. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. Either way, you're going to have a good time, especially for $50. But this is wired and wireless for the PC, um, and it is Bluetooth for mobile games. So for your phone, it's going to be Bluetooth, and then for the PC, you can either use Bluetooth or you can use a wired cable, so depending on how you want a game. But that's pretty much it, guys. Let's go ahead and cut this thing open. Got the unboxing knife, never leave home without it. Well, we're at home, so didn't have to go too far. Let's go ahead and make this cut. Is that precise? Let's do that. There you go. I think that did it. Oh, man. I got to work on those cuts. Maybe third time's the charm. All right. I think that did it. Side note, shout out to all the subs, all the OGs and all the new subs. The channel continues to grow and I appreciate you guys. So let's pull this out. Also, if I didn't mention, we're going to be using the S22 Ultra to take a look at this HyperX Clutch Wireless. So nothing else in the box here. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. Reading information. You know I suggest reading this, but most of you won't. Toss that to the side. And here's just a quick start guide, just telling you some of the button layouts and all that kind of stuff. Your action buttons, analog sticks, and your home button, all that kind of stuff. You know, the typical. Definitely, definitely take a look at this because it's going to tell you how to use that that clip that you put your phone into so this is probably going to be some good information here but let's go ahead and toss this to the side as well see what else we get in the box so here's that mobile clip that connects to your phone or that you can put your phone in and it also connects to the mobile gaming controller itself so this will come in handy Here's gonna be your wireless adapter that you would plug into your PC so that you can do the wireless gaming. Let's see if we get a cable in here also for that wired gaming. And we do, at the very bottom, I was gonna say, <laughs> they didn't even give us a cable, but it's USB type A, of course, to USB type C, pretty much standard. And that's pretty much all you get in the package. But you guys didn't come here for the package, you came here for the game and gaming controller. So, taking a look at the bottom, you can see it says 2.4G and then you have your Bluetooth symbol over here and then you have your wired connection symbol over here. So you can toggle between the two, depending on how you want a game. And just taking a look at the controller and how it feels, I will say this does feel like a $50 controller and that's not necessarily a bad thing the handles on the side for where your palm would rest is a little grippy and the grip feels 
I would say the grip feels good. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to necessarily slip out of your hand, but it's also not the best grip either. Uh, buttons are nice and big, these action buttons here. The thumbsticks do feel pretty solid. I, I was expecting them to feel a lot cheaper, but I felt worse. And there's been premium controllers that had worse thumbsticks. So if you're one of those people that worry about that, these thumb thumbsticks are solid. However, as you can hear, they make a lot of noise when you're pressing them in. There you go, look at that. We got some juice in this device. Um, but we got the D-pad here, which the D-pad is nice and quiet. Um, the buttons here on the D-pad, left, right, up and down, are kind of big, and so I, I, I like that because you know exactly what you're doing when pushing these buttons. Shouldn't make any mistakes here, and they don't feel flimsy. So we have our turbo button clear, select start, and then our home button, and then up top, L1, R1, R2, L2. The triggers do not recess that far down, um, but they also do feel decent. This controller, so far, seems like a solid device, especially for $50. I mean, you can't really complain too much for that price. And then we have our port right here for where you use your wired connection. And also, I'm assuming charging this controller as well, because it is Bluetooth, at least for your Android and mobile devices. So guys, that's pretty much it with this controller i mean there's not really too much to it um let's just see how this clip fits in and where you put it so looks like you just insert the clip right here see how easy it is to take out it's quite easy to take out so when you want to put the clip inside and game this way up top there's a slot Take the clip, insert it just like that, and nice snug fit. So we got the S22, and look, the top of the clip actually extends so you can fit wider devices in here. The S22 Ultra should have no problem fitting in here. So let's actually try that. I got the S22 Ultra right here, of course. Let's go ahead and see how well it fits. Look at that fits perfectly so this is what it looks like when you have the mobile clip on the table let me go ahead and turn it around so you guys can see that and so this is how you would be gaming tabletop mode something like this which I think is pretty cool alright guys let's go ahead and test this thing out and jump into some gaming
中だおいブレイクミッションの時にこの直後に撃沈されたんじゃ今回は大丈夫なはずだよこいつは飛んだ作戦だぜ守備軍は一体どういう命令を受けてんだまさか自爆のことは誰にも知らされてないんだ味方にもいいかよく聞けよ本部の地下にサイクロックスが仕掛けられている作動したら基地から半径10キロは溶鉱炉になるってサイズの代物がこの戦力では防衛は不可能だ花間からの救援は間に合わないやがて守備軍は全滅しゲートは突破され本部は施設の破棄を兼ねてサイクロプスを作動させるそれでザフトの戦力の大半を奪う気なんだよそれがお偉いさんの解除この戦闘のシナリオだそんなそんなことって俺はこの目で見てきたんだ司令本部はもうもむけの辛さ残って戦ってるのはアークエンジェルのようにあっちの都合で切り捨てられた奴らばかりさ軍隊っていうのはどの歴史でもこういうものなんだアークエンジェルこちらアラスカ基地守備軍援護に向かいます脱出をすまんお前たちもここから退避しろ脱出もかなり厳しいが諦めるな本艦はこれより現戦域を放棄離脱しますそういう第一戦闘配備でもあとは何かのことも言ったあれが脱出は可能なの大丈夫あとは彼が間に合ってくれれば肝心な時に。